Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and today I want to have a look at some sensible watch buys. Okay, fuckers, we've woken up. We realize wristwatches are not a great luxury goods investment. They're not a long-term investment. But I wanted to show you how you can have a really nice collection for not a lot of money. So uh, what I've done is I've contacted a dealer friend. This is Ian, the watch, the watch dealer. And I said, Ian, I'm doing a, uh, a video on sensible watches you can buy. So uh, he sent me some pieces. So for starters, every watch man needs one decent watch. So in my case, I've decided to stay with the Rolex Explorer 2. Many of you other fuckers have gone for the Rolex Submariner. But uh, one steel sports Rolex is our good piece. Now, let's have a look at some bargains, some bang per buck bargains here. And here we go. I've got a minty. This is a very, very minty Oris. It's an automatic. And uh, it's uh, stainless steel with a bracelet. Straight out of Tokyo. Four or five years old. Vox. And fuckers, it comes with papers. Papers, that's right. Comes with papers as well. And uh, this is a really cool, in virtually unworn condition. And uh, this this could be yours for about $750. $750. What do you reckon? The ultimate, ultimate beta watch. Now, let's look at some other things here, fuckers. We also want something classy. We want a nice dress watch. And there are some absolute bargains out there. Absolute bargains. And uh, here is one of them. And uh, this is brought to you by Alfred Dunhill. You remember those ads in the 80s? It must be beautiful. It must be dependable. It must be the best of its kind. Well, fuckers. Well, fuckers indeed. This is, uh, this is a great example. This is a 90s... Alfred Dunhill. It's a Millennium watch. That's right. It's the Alfred Dunhill Millennium. It must be beautiful. Must be dependable. Must be the best of its kind. And this is $500. 500 Aussie dollars. You can't get better than that. 500 bucks for an Alfred Dunhill. And a nice bracelet with some extra links there. So that's a, uh, that's a very, that's a very, you know, that's a bit of, uh, filler a little bit of filler for your collection and uh let's look at something for erin doors we can't keep the wife out so look at this it's a ladies oris black dial automatic running great with links hardly used 550 what do you reckon fuckers 550 dollars for this oris here and we want something we want something inexpensive this could be a men's or a ladies it's sort of a mid-size type of size it's a cross quartz steel and gold plated and uh what do you reckon just a nice decent swiss quartz piece what do you say would you give me 150 dollars because that's all i want for it 150 smackers 150 bucks for a um you know, it's a beta. It's a great beta. Why not? 150 bucks. So, 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 so let's look at this collection here, fuckers. Let's be absolutely realistic in our expectations. Luxury goods are not a good investment. So we're going to have a nice, humble, modest collection. We're going to have an Explorer 2 as our, you know, that's our street cred watch. One good steel sports Rolex is okay. We're going to have an Oris. So what does that set us back? That that Rolex there is going to set you back. What's that going to be? Let's use Aussie dollars. That's probably six grand for the Rolex. Uh, for the uh, for the Oris there. What's that? Seven fifty. Six seven fifty. The Dunhill, close enough to seven. And uh, seven and a half. We've got this whole ensemble here. We don't need, we don't need heaps of Rolexes. We don't need solid gold pieces. No, we keep the, the bickies for paying off our home loan, paying off our credit card, you know, paying off all this consumer debt. And, um, you know, then we'll have money to 
to save and invest with. But for watches, here's a simple little collection. Seven and a half thousand Aussie dollars. What's that in US? Six, six, six and a bit. Just six thousand US dollar collection. What do you think, fuckers? Is this horologically sound? Is it okay with you? Is it good enough for you? What do you fuckers think of this? I'm Archibald Chesterfield the Third. We're looking at sensible collections. Tell me what you nasty, vicious, foul-mouthed fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Good to see you living within your means.